WWE Hell in a Cell is this coming Sunday. It's currently got six matches announced for the show. I think we're going to get one or two more. There are currently no matches from SmackDown at all, which is really weird. So hopefully we get a few more added there. I do think it's one of those shows that when you watch it, it's going to deliver more than you think it will. If you're asking, we've already done the video, Will the Fiend Return at Hell in a Cell? We actually did it a few weeks ago. It's already up on the channel, so if you haven't already, make sure you check that out. And before we get started, if you are new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Let's grow this channel even further. And of course, like the video. I can't tell you how much it genuinely helps out on YouTube, so make sure you do that. And of course, make sure you follow me on Twitter at C Wrestling UK. Turn on notifications here and on Twitter, and you'll never miss another upload. But let's get on with the predictions. And we start off with Seth Rollins versus Cody Rhodes. Three inside hell in a cell. So far, this is the only scheduled match that will take place inside hell in a cell. There's always time for WWE to change a stipulation or add another match, of course, but... I think this is going to be the main event, maybe the only Hell in a Cell match on the card, which makes sense. I think when you do too many, it does take away. The build for this, from this week's Raw specifically, has been amazing. I love this. I can't wait for this main event. I've got no idea, really, who's going to win. It could go either way. But if I've got to give a prediction, ah, oh man, I'm going to go out there and I'm going to say... Cody Rhodes to win. I think it, I think that's what's going to happen. I think the safe bet is Cody Rhodes. Triple threat rules as Bianca Belair defends the Raw Women's title against Asuka and Becky Lynch. Obviously, a lot of plans changing for Hell in a Cell with the whole Sasha Banks and Naomi stuff that went on. Um, so this wasn't the planned match. And for that reason, I believe Bianca Belair is going to win. I think the planned match was meant to be Bianca and Naomi and then probably get Oscar and Becky in a separate like, match at the card. So I, I kind of feel like Bianca wins. Maybe we then do Becky and Oscar in Money in the Bank. That kind of makes a bit more sense to me than have one of them win it. I think Becky's had her run. Oscar's just returned. I think maybe you take that storyline about Head in a Cell the, you know, the whole Money in the Bank thing with Becky from Hell in a Cell to Money in the Bank. I think that makes a lot of sense. So for that reason, I'm going to go with Bianca Belair. And I hope Alexa Bliss gets involved. A handicap match that WWE have been building for what feels like an eternity. It's just gone on and on and on. But we finally get it. MVP and Omos go one on two against Bobby Lashley. Bobby Lashley, for me, easily wins this match. I think Lashley looks dominant in victory. He's going to pin MVP to make Omos continue to look strong. I think it's just typical easy WWE booking, if you ask me. Now, here is a match I think is going to be underestimated until it actually happens. Kevin Owens versus Ezekiel, the younger brother of Elias. Obviously, definitely, 100%, categorically, not Elias. I absolutely love this storyline. Genuinely, I think it's one of the best things WWE has ever done. I think genuinely the storyline of having Ezekiel as Elias' younger brother and Kevin Owens losing his mind has been absolutely freaking genius. I love it. I absolutely love it. I hope this isn't the end of it. I hope it evolves into something else after the pay-per-view, which is really weird to say. Normally, by this point, you want it to end. I think for storyline reasons, you've got to give the win to Ezekiel. You've got to. And then have Owens again go further into that craziness of, you know, trying to prove himself correct. It just makes sense. Austin Theory defends the United States title against Mustafa Ali in Chicago. It's Ali's hometown and WWE doesn't like to do hometown wins and I think they'd rather have Austin Theory get booed out of the building for beating the hometown hero. So, ah, oh man, I've got to go with Austin Theory. I think Ali's going to get one of the biggest pops of the night because he's from Chicago. But I do think it's going to be Austin Theory that wins. 
another match which has had amazing build. Judgment Day will go three on three with AJ Styles, Finn Balor and Liv Morgan. When was the last time we had a mixed six person tag? I can't remember that, especially on a pay-per-view. I think this is going to be really, really fun. I think we're going to get the fourth member of Judgment Day at Hell in a Cell. It just makes so much sense to do it on a pay-per-view named Hell in a Cell. I think because of storyline-wise and the fact they're still new, the Judgment Day faction should win this match. And I think they are going to. So I'm going to give my prediction to Edge, Damian Priest, Andrea Ripley. I think they're going to kick ass and win. And I also think it's going to be due to the fourth member. Edge has been teasing for weeks now that a fourth member is coming. A lot of people wondering who that person is. I think it's obvious. I think it's going to be this man right here, Finn Balor. I think he turns at Hell in a Cell. But that's it. That is all the announced matches so far for Hell in a Cell. I would assume Ronda Rousey would be in action. She was booked until Sasha and Naomi walked off. She was meant to be facing Sasha Banks. For what they did on SmackDown last week, it's possible. I wouldn't guarantee it. I think if we're going to get a match, it will be Ronda versus Shayna. That would be pretty cool, though. Let's not lie. If that happens, I think Ronda wins. And I think Mad Cat Moss versus Corbin will be announced. Of course, Mad Cat returns to SmackDown on Friday. Kind of makes sense to play the feud out on pay-per-view. I think if this happens, I think Mad Cat Moss wins, especially with Money in the Bank coming up in Vegas. Have Corbin lose all his money and give us the return of Brocast Baron Corbin. It's what we all deserve, right? I could also see Riddle and Nakamura and the Usos getting added to the Hell in a Cell card. If that happens, I think it's going to be the Usos that win. That would make sense. But again, that is all. But I do think when you come to watch the pay-per-view, I think it's going to be a good show. I think the matches are pretty damn good. Especially that Ezekiel one, who is definitely not Elias, by the way. <laughs> but let me know your thoughts and your predictions in the comment section down below. Tell me which match as well you're most excited for. And don't forget to like the video. Share the video so your friends can find it. They can come and have their say. Of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Turn on notifications. You'll never miss another upload. And I'll see you as always next time. Peace!